Hey guys, welcome to a vase to another episode of the Ottomans, where we are going to be playing a World Congress series, and we're going to be trying not to become the sick man of Europe. So guys, today what we are going to be doing is we're going to be trying to conquest Austria, and to conquest Austria, we're going to need to dissolve our alliance with the UK. Yep, dissolve our alliance with the UK, and then we're going to begin the game. So we're going to have to wait, Ionian Islands, whatever, whatevs. So we're going to have to dissolve our alliance with the UK, but we'll get that back very, very soon. We're just going to have to wait a second. I'm waiting for somebody specific. Okay, there we go. The other, they have definitely sent us an invite to get an alliance off uh, back. Now, normally what you would do is you'd be like, oh yeah, let's totally get this alliance, because it's going to be awesome. But what we're going to do first is we're going to quickly get an alliance with Prussia in. We're going to sneak an alliance in, I should say. Now the Prussians like us, now we're going to get the alliance with the UK. And the reason why I did it in that specific order was because we need to make sure that we could get both these guys in at the same exact time. Because as we as, as we guys can see, is that if we want to attack Austria, we're going to need a big gigantic force. Mm, excuse me, people. And I honestly don't have the army for it. Like, I hate to admit my own uh, inferiority to, to the rest of the great powers, but I honestly don't have the army for it. So, yeah. And also, we're also going to need the papal states in this. Okay. So... Yeah, it, it's honestly sad for me to say that, but we honestly don't have the power to fight the, the Austrians. So what we're going to do is we're going to, uh, uh, basically, oh man. First, we're going to release a nation because, uh, we don't want to have too high of an infamy because then there's a chance that not all these guys will join in. But once we're gonna, what we're going to do is we're basically going to have all these guys come in and destroy the Austrians. You know, UK, the Netherlands, Prussia. Uh, Papal States, Naples, I mean two Sicilies, all these guys come in, destroy the Austrian state, and then we'll gain all this land. I mean, imagine this, people, we're going to gain all this land. But it's going to be a hard-fought battle because, of course, the Austrians are going to have a powerful alliance here. They basically own all of this land right here. And they're coming for us, people! That's all you need to know, though. They're coming for us. Without the, they're coming for us, you know, sealed decree, we know this war would be lost. But because we have, they're coming for us. From the great and mighty prospector, we know we must go to war because our war is just and our war, war we will win. Okay. All right. So yeah, people, we will be going to war. Indubitably, the prospector has proclaimed it. We will go to war with Austria and beat them into submission, man. Okay, but we have to wait a couple minutes because we have become a great power again. Hooray! So great being a great power, even though it's not really like, well. I guess it does provide benefits, but it's really not too great. So let's see. Will everyone join in? Yes. Okay. Can I sneak an alliance in, though, with Sardinia Piedmont? Uh, no. They don't like me right now. Okay. So let's see. Let's just go straight for Austria side, people. I was thinking about Sardinia Piedmont for a while because I was like, well, if we're going to be attacking Austria, another person I'd want to, you know, destroy Austria would be Sardinia Piedmont. But apparently they don't want to join in right now. So let's just go for this. All these guys seem like they're going to join in. Let's hope they actually carry through with that, because I really don't want to fight, you know, all by myself. Yes. No, somebody didn't join in. Oh, Netherlands. Ah, that's fine. The Dutch don't have to join in. They, they can remain their own little pit, the, you know, their own little states. You know what that means, though, Dutch, is that means you're probably going to be my next conquest. Like, yeah. <laughs> you are probably going to be my next conquest. And since the British are already right here next to the island, your times are coming. Your times are coming. So, anyways, right now we are at war again, and I really don't want to industri- I really don't want to, like, uh, basically I don't want to mobilize. And a lot of people are like, wait, why don't you want to mobilize? Because if I mobilize, that's basically going to do is kill off the rest of my, uh, supply limit of my men. I don't know why. I don't know why it's a case in this game, because a lot, actually a lot of, th a lot of things in this game are kind of a little bit, like, questionable moves. Like, you're like, why are you doing this? Why does this happen? Why does, uh... But anyways, we got this whole entire new prospect over here where we're going to be trying to not mobilize. And let's mobilize. Why not? <laughs> I know I just said I wouldn't mobilize, but why not? Let's go mobilize. Let's go support our men. Let's go do whatever we can. Let's go try to fight this war as quickly as possible because I'm also kind of worried that the other great powers might add their own great, you know, own conquest spree to this. Which would be quite annoying because then I have to kind of deal with a lot of stupid stuff. You know, like... Oh, wait, now they're going to gain this land, and I don't get to gain my land. So we're going to have to make sure that we fight this just to make sure that we gain the land we want to. Right now, I have a 36-sized army. Uh, probably need a little bit more because, I'm going to be honest with you, our army is shite. So 
We're going to need a little bit more. It seems like a lot of people are getting out of this war already. The, the Austrians obviously didn't send many men over here to go to this border. So that means these guys are going to be out of the war pretty quickly. Hopefully, hopefully the, these guys, hopefully these guys are going to be smart and crush on all these little tiny states. And then go after the big bull, big guy, big daddy known as uh, Austria. Seems like they are. And it seems like the Austrians are also making the mistake of attacking, uh, oh shoot, 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 shoot. Get out, get out, get out. Divide up my men. Go send up half of them out of here. Because as you guys can see, we're already starting to lose. Okay, yeah, we want to make sure that does not happen. Because as you guys can see, that lowers our militarist expanding, which is what we don't need. We'll rock me in our cradle. We have, we have two armies that we can go send. We're going to go send both of them to go to try to go destroy one army. Let's go see if we can destroy one army of the Austrian Hungarians. I just want to see if we can do this. Yes, 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 yes! Okay, I feel slightly happier that we destroyed one army. And it seems like. It seems like the, uh, of course, the uh, um, Austrians added their own war goal, which means that they're going to now be like, yeah, we should totally just go for that war goal, which is going to annoy me. Um, the best way we can deal with this is quickly just go crush down uh, Baden. That way they can get the colonies, and then they can just focus in on my, my goal. Because that's really what we want them to serve. We want them to serve my interests, and no one else's. Blast! Ah, oh, dang, I lost some prestige for that. And it seems like we're losing this battle because, like, we're just losing this battle. We're killing a lot more men. There we go. Finally. There we go. Kill the rest of these men, and then we call it even. We'll call Austria. We call, we'll call the losses that we suffered even. Even though we're totally losing this way more than they are. Let's go back to our land, because I think this is as much as we can get. And, yeah, we basically crushed through everything. If, if the British can quickly go conquer the last bit of men of... Man, Helmum, I, I can't pronounce that name. We could quickly end this uh, conquest so that the Brit, so that the uh, Austrian, yeah, there we go. They're gonna quickly conquer this. That means they're gonna. I believe what's gonna happen if if everything pans out quickly, they're just gonna be doing a separate piece with these guys, get them out of the war quickly, so that they will, uh, you know, give the uh, Prussians the goods. Oh, yes, and that means all war will still continue, even though. Even though the uh, Prussians had added earlier what they wanted. Uh, cut down the sides, humiliate Bavaria. And it looks like a lot of people are hating on Bavaria. I don't know what Bavaria did to like make all those people mad. But like they did something and now those people are mad. I'm going to also divide up my military right there so that it doesn't die. So yeah, we're, st we're all good now people, we're all good. Because they're not going to they're not gonna invalidate my war. And you know, do their own selfish wars like... Look at those Europeans. They're being so selfish. I mean, they're fighting the entire war, and they don't want to go into my war goals. And with these guys destroyed, this should destroy a lot of, like, Austrian, you know, troops. Let's see. Spread the word. Let's spread the word of moralism. I don't remember if we are a moralistic nation or not, but let's spread the word anyways. The British are definitely crushing through all of Bavaria. Bavaria should surrender here very, very soon. Which means our one goal that we will need to accomplish will soon be able to accomplish. And they will, and I'm pretty sure none of the Great Powers will be able to add anything to that deal. So that will be nice. We could basically just do that deal and have no one else you know, add anything. And then we just get all of Austria. Which is what we basically want. We want all of Austria. Okay, let's get this. Let's get this. Yes! Okay. And now there is no way in heck that the other European powers can add any war goal. Except for them... Except for them... Uh, actually getting what I want. So now guys, what we're gonna do is just casually watch as the rest of the European powers casually go destroy the rest of the Austrian army. I mean, yeah, <laughs> we really have nothing else to do. Oh, wait, we do have something else to do because one of our bureaucrats have just finished up. I think that's Molson Bull. Yes, it is. So now Molson Bull is finishing up. We're gonna add Craftsman to it because as you guys know, that's my main production of where I make guns and I need to make sure my production of guns is good. I need to make sure that that is excellent so we lose militancy in the Palestinian region. Uh, and let's see, it seems like for the generality of things, it looks like we're going to be winning this pretty hardcore. I mean, the Austrians are going to try to fight, but they lost all their, they lost all their friends pretty quickly. I'm going to be honest, like, all their friends got out fairly quickly. And now what we're going to do is just watch as we slowly crush through everything. In fact, even my vassals are conquering back their very much buffer state land. That's kind of cool. And let's see, get this back, get this back, tax efficiency... Oh, that's so good. Now we got tax efficiency. I'm going to now go, but before I do anything, I'm going to now get militaristic staff system. That way I can get better staffing. Got all this up to powered. Going to get that up to 60. 
65, that's... Eh, that's mediocre. Let's go up to 75. That way I can support a lot. There we go. And now we're just going to watch as these armies slowly crush through everything. Excellent! And this is going to be beautiful, people. Look at all this. I mean, they, they do have one army left, but... I don't believe that army is going to be able to do much against the vast majority of the both the Prussians and the Ukrainians. This is over. So, our, our conquest of, a, of our first great power was actually pretty successful. We had very few snags and it ultimately ended in a very good way. Now let's see, does Sardinia want to be my friend? No, Sardinia don't want to be friend. Oh man. <laughs> Yes, look at all this. this. This is so cool. I'm just watching this and being like, you know these guys are mine. In fact, let's also de demobilize that way we don't have to have our economy suffer at all. Because, I mean, let's be honest here. We don't have to have our economy suffer right now just because of me. But let's go combine all these guys. That way I know how much men actually survived. How much am I actually going to start making again? Oh my goodness, I have to make like two troops. I lost all of my like soldiers. That kind of stinks right there. Just losing all your soldiers, man. That stinks. And let's see. The rest of the army is basically crushing through everything. For some reason, this army has still lived, even to this day. I don't know how that army is, like, surviving all the rest of them. They're just like, herp -a derp -a derp We're just going to keep over here and do whatever we want. And let's see. Oh, yes. Get more education. Education. We're going to be trying to increase as much as possible, but it is really hard to, to do, to, like, educate an entire world population, especially when they're going to become underneath our roof. Especially when they, like, uh, are going to hate us. I I already have a feeling I'm not going to be the nicest of dictators to everyone. I'm good. I may try, but, like, owning the entire world is definitely going to change a lot of people's views of me. Okay. Lazy natives learn, need to learn how to adopt. Everyone must be the Ottomans. No one is different in our empire. And let's see. We're almost about done with conquering the Ottoman. I mean, not the Ottomans. The Austrians. Still, like I said, only one person added anything. Uh, they basically have nothing. Uh, they have nothing now. They're basically done. I mean, they're fighting the hardest, but I mean, they're done, just I should say. But they're done. They're definitely done. There is. Well, they are trying back here to do something, but that's kind of pointless because literally we have everything else. Dig deep and greedy, man. I, when I say dig deep and greedy, I mean dig deep and greedy. Okay, they're going to be destroyed right there. Yes. And now, yes, as we finally see the last little bit of the Austrian land besieged up and gone. It pains me to see them go like this. You know, the Austrian Empire, defeated by both the rivals of the UK and the Prussian lands. So sad. So sad. Alright, when is this going to end now? <laughs> I mean, I hate to be impatient or anything, but like, seriously, are we about done yet? Like... Are, are, we, are they ready to become part of my empire? Like, are they ready yet? Come on, come on. You guys must be nearly done. Come on, finish up. Whoever's in, whoever's in charge of this war, come on, finish up. I want to get my land. Come on, let's go. Chop, chop. There's more things to do. People, I got places to be. People, people to do. People to conquer. Sheesh. Okay, Moldavia's done. There we go. Ha <laughs> ha. All right, look at that, people. Now we have officially added our first... Our first. I mean, this is, this is our first, and... Do we want anything right now? Uh, I don't really want elections yet because I don't really want the party right now to get kicked out. But yes, everyone, we added our first great power to our empire. It was the Austrian powers, and now we've expanded all the way up here. We basically now own all the uh, Baltic region. I mean, the only people, person that could challenge us on that is the uh, Russian Empire. I don't believe they will. The Russians don't usually like to do that kind of stuff. And let's see, where's the next point of conquest we are going to be doing? Hmm. China might be a good place to go after next, but... Let's see, how is the spheres of influence being handed out? Ooh, Portugal, you have no one... Aw, oh, dang it. I thought they were completely alone, so I was like, Yes, Portugal, you will soon join the dark side. Well, we could, we could go for a south, I guess we could go for a south, no, that's way too low population. I need big population to sustain my government and to keep everything fine. So let's see, where should we move up next? I need to basically think of somebody that we could easily conquer that wouldn't be too much of an issue. You know what we could do, actually? People, and I'm just thinking this out loud. 
is what we could do is first I'm going to need to release a new nation, which we just got a whole list of new nations. And I know a nation I could only release. I'm going to be happy of releasing. Where is it? Where is it? Yes! Tweast! Why are we going to release Tweast? Because this is what we're going to do, guys. Is that we're going to attack the Sardinian Piedmont. Why are we going to attack Sardinia Piedmont? Because I want to get France involved. Why do I want to get France involved? Because we want to make sure that we can attack France. Well, actually, let's make sure. Who else could we attack out of the sphere of France? Switzerland. Switzerland's also about that high. In, is about that high in terms of me. Let's see. Luxembourg. Luxembourg. Does everyone wait? Does everyone have really good relationship with me? Like Algeria. Hmm. No, we need somebody really tiny that we can easily destroy if we really need to. Okay. Let's see. Yeah. I think Luxembourg is going to be the nation that we are going to be using as our kind of escape goat. So what we're going to do is we're going to uh, get a cause Bella against Luxembourg, then have, you know, then declare war on them, have our allies all join in, you know, fight them with good ferocity. Then what we're going to have is then have France join in against us, and then what I'm going to do is add the cause Bella of conquest, conquering all of France, thereby defeating one of the greatest powers in the entire game in one fell swoop. Okay, because I don't believe we're strong enough at this point yet to fight against the uh, Russian Empire. I mean, as much as I would love to do it now, and I'd love to take over all this land, I don't believe a head-on attack would be the best course of action. Although, I guess we could do the exact same in reverse, like maybe attack the Russian Empire uh, through the same amounts of spheres and alliances. Hey, Vaya, would you like to be my friend? You know, it's a very good idea you become my friend because I will kill you. Yeah, let's let's see if we get Bavaria on our side. Ah oh, man, I mean, if we get Russia, if we get Russia out of the war, I mean, this would really, we would literally have the biggest army and the biggest. Yeah, but if we also get France, it's it's basically who do I want to go after first? France or Russia? France, Russia, France, Russia, France, Russia. You know what? It'd look better if I went after Russia first, but Russia's gonna take a long time. A long time. But it'd be much quicker because then I just have to do a cosplay against Montenegro. Something really low key that wouldn't really cost me a lot. Let's just do humiliate. Because humiliate's really easy and does not cost me a lot. Assert opposition. Sure, why not? Assert opposition in the one place I don't really care about. Netherlands. You guys don't really want to form an alliance with me again, that's fine, but Bavaria, you guys are one point away from accepting an alliance. So let's get that. Yeah, let's, you know, let's honestly take out the big green nation. Not us. Not us, guys. I don't want to take out us. Let's take out the first green nation. That way we have a gigantic, a gigantic border. And that way we can officially declare that we are the largest nation in the world. Let's see. And if we add that to us, good call. Sevilla's seems like some people don't really like that. Uh, oh, but then we just got France. This is this is so good towards fighting France. So, oh my goodness, that's that's so annoying. Okay, well let's see. Let's add Bavaria. No, Bavaria doesn't want to be my friend anymore. Let's add Spain to our friends list. And well, I'm pretty sure Prussia is going to be able to fight this pretty easily. Pretty sure my allies are going to be fight this. Let's just finish off Russia, and then we'll go to other powers. Plus, now we can actually produce more people. Let's see. Uh, we can also produce these guys and these guys. Let's start producing, like, four of these guys. Uh, four of these guys. And, I guess, one more of these guys? Okay. Yeah, we just let's just keep with our strategy for right now. And then we'll go, I guess once we gain the maximum manpower that we can get from the Russian Empire, then we'll go back and go do more things. Uh, fight the disease, why? Let's see, how long does it take to, to do a simple, it's time to act, yay, reduction of prestige, okay. And since this is a one promise minor, we could easily win this. Humiliate, call all my allies, let's see, will everyone join in? Yes, they will be. Everyone will join in. Let's see, get everyone in on this war. Please tell me you all will join in. Somebody didn't join in. It's Spanish. UK? Yes! Okay. Let's see. Alright, you guys are fighting this. Oh, man. We probably needed you guys also in this war so we could transfer troops. But, as you guys can see, in the next episode, we're going to be invading this land. But we're also going to be invading the, uh... 
But we're going to be invading the Prus we're going to be invading the Russians land, and we're going to make sure that we get this as soon as we're able to. We're going to add that cause to So I want to thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time.